YouTube, it's your boy Cam, and we're back with another video. Now, first and foremost, if this is your first time on my channel, I just need you to do me a quick and simple favor. Please hit that subscribe button as well as turn on that notification bell or you notified anytime that I drop some content. Why yet? Please leave a like down below. It helps the algorithm, it helps my channel continue to grow, and it pushes my content out for more and more people. And if this isn't your first time on my channel, I just want to say welcome back to the trenches. It's your boy Meech reporting live, and I got some great content for y'all today. Today, we got a reaction video. We're going to be reviewing people getting scammed through Cash App. Now, as a small disclaimer, bro, it is 2022. If you are still getting scammed through Cash App in 2022, Unless you're like a super old head, I'll give you a pass. Because some of the people watching my video, y'all is old heads, you feel me? Yeah, if you're not an old head, I don't see how y'all are getting scammed through cash out. General rule of thumb, if it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. Anybody claiming that they can just like flip your money, people who are claiming that they can do X, Y, and Z, pretty much saying that if you send them $50, they'll flip it into $500 or $100 or whatever. People promising to double or triple your money. Sometimes our tenants a scam. Why would somebody off the internet who's never met you, don't know none about you, volunteer to flip your money for you, a complete stranger, for free, for nothing. Why does that make sense? Unless they're just crazy rich, but if they're, even if they're really rich, why would they want you to send them anything? If I'm gonna send you $500, what would be the purpose of you sending me $50? I might as well just send you $450, right? Like, come on now, it don't make sense. So today we're gonna get into that, some cash app scams. I'm also gonna talk about our reaction to the video, as well as what we can do to prevent cash app scams in the future. Nothing left to do. A Coweta woman is struggling to find help after a scammer drained her bank account right in front of her eyes. Two Works For You's Mason Morrow has this story for us tonight. Do you see what I'm doing, he said. I said, yes, I do. What are you doing? Shaylin Bush says a man she knows only as Mike swiped nearly $3,000 from right under her nose. Go from 2,782.66 to zero. Bush serves for Cash App support after she says her card wasn't working at the ATM. It declined it or it said it wasn't reading it. She found what she thought was the mobile payment app's website support page. It has the logo, the little green with the money sign, and it has, it looks like the Cash App logo. It says customer support. Now, first and foremost, I can't even knock Shorty. Based off just first glance, of just not even a minute into the video, Cash App support, for one, is trash, so it is very hard to get in contact with anybody from Cash App. I think the only form of communication they offer is email. So if you find yourself in a weird position with Cash App, you need to contact that support. Any websites or people claiming to be support from Cash App is probably a fraud or it's a scam because I, I, I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I believe they only offer support through like their actual email address. So I can't necessarily blame her because she was just looking for support. And before we get into the video, it's sounding like she most likely went on this website, gave them her information, and then from there, they might have cleaned her out. I'm not sure. I guess we'll keep watching. Only to discover something wasn't quite right. The whole time I felt wrong about the whole call, the whole questions, the, the numbers, the, everything felt wrong. Bush tells Two Works For You, Mike hung up and called her back from a landline phone because his headset was messing up. Bush says she was then asked to download two different apps onto her device. At one point, it said, trust this website, security warning, all these things. I trust the caller. He said, click on I trust the caller. Mike was in. Bush says he had full access to her phone and watched her account count down to zero in the blink of an eye. You don't think it will happen to you, and it happened right in front of my face. Bush isn't the only victim within Cash App's estimated 30 million user base to be tricked by a fish caller. Two Works For You shared the story in June of Leonard Davis, who lost $1,500 from his Cash App account in an instant. Bush says if the digital service had a support call number readily available, this wouldn't have happened to her and others. That part of it I agree with also. Um, Cash App support, they have to do better because, as he said, I think 30 million users, like, Cash App makes a lot of money and they have such a huge, like, they have a lot of people who use their app. So it's kind of wild to me that they don't have better customer support or just people readily on hand, ready to deal with everyday issues because people are dealing with issues every day. And I believe Cash App is kind of an easy place to scam on. Um, as a side note, I believe that's why Venmo never really took off the way it could have. I know there are people out there who still use Venmo, but Venmo could have been a lot more popular. I think what ultimately ended up hurting Venmo is the fact that, you know, I think it was just popular and easier to scam on. 
Cash App isn't as easy to scam on, but it's still pretty, it's pretty suspect in a lot of ways, so. That's all we can do is email Cash App. You can't do anything else. Everybody's money's there and no one can talk to them. I reached out to Cash App through email about Bush's incident and others like hers. A spokesperson with Cash App responded saying, quote, the Cash App team will never ask customers to send them money, nor will they solicit a customer's PIN or sign in code outside of the app. Bush tells me she sent several emails to Cash App but hasn't received any answers about her money. She's also filed a police report and cybercrime report, but doubt she'll ever see that money again. Now, as she said at the end of the video, I pretty much assume the same. I don't believe Cash App has any form of support other than email. Now, does that make perfect sense to me? No, but you know, it's neither here nor there. What we can learn from it is pretty much exactly what Cash App said. They will never solicit you to add your PIN, password, or to send them money or anything through any other third party apps. If Cash App itself is the app you have an issue with, why are they asking you to send money through another app? So things like that, anytime it starts feeling fishy, I think if you have a situation like that, that's when you need to just back out and give it some time and figure out who you need to talk to to get your issues resolved. Me personally, I use Cash App very, very sparingly. I will use Zelle and a lot of other different places. Zelle for me, it, go, it works directly through most bank accounts. So at least your bank account goes directly to whoever you're trying to send money to. And also, is directly tied to your bank. So any issues you have, you can go directly through your bank. And in my personal experience, anytime I've had issues with either Capital One, Chase, or Navy Federal, they get on top of it so quickly. So I'd much rather, I just feel safer doing that. And on top of that, you know, when you're sending people money, you don't have fees or anything involved. Even with Apple Pay and everything else, I think there are other, so much other better options than using Cash App. So uh, just be careful. We can't judge these people for it. I can see how she got in that situation. But also, like I said, sometimes it's common sense. It's kind of like those scam callers who call you and they say, hey, uh, you know, there's a warrant out for your arrest, but if you give us your credit card information and your social security number, we'll make it go away. Well, first of all, the police would never call your phone telling you got a warrant saying, hey, if you pay us, we'll make it. No, bro, they ain't gonna never do that. They're gonna come get you at two, three o'clock in the morning when you sleep and they gonna catch you lacking. Now, it's kind of sometimes common sense is applying that into situations and understanding how we cannot get scammed by Cash App. Again, if it sounds too good to be true, no problem. Is. So that wraps up today's video. It's just a quick and simple reaction video to people getting scammed on Cash App. Again, you know, my thoughts and prayers go out to all these people. Um, it's not a funny situation whatsoever. And it's not something I wish on people at all. Being in this niche, I see people creating fake accounts and stuff like that. If you ever contacted by account claiming to be me, telling you to give you like a WhatsApp or any third party app claiming to like be able to, so you can contact me and message me and send me money and stuff like that just know it's a scam bro i would never ask y'all for any any money whatsoever and a lot of y'all may not notice but i get a lot of spam comments on some of my videos i think this has to do with the topics i'm doing and youtube you know they have bots and i see people uh with fake accounts uh, trying to be me claiming that people have won prizes and to contact them like bro i would never know if y'all need to contact me your best place is probably to dm me on instagram or twitter and I can get back to you ASAP if you have any issues. But yeah, if anybody's ever claiming to be me or just anybody you know, don't fall for it, man. These people are just scamming. And it's sad that we live in a world where people don't want to work for anything. They'd rather just scam, finesse, and steal from hardworking people in order to come up. If you found this video educational, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form, I just need you to do me a quick and simple favor. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, as well as turn on that notification bell to be notified anytime that I drop some content. And while you're at it, please leave a like down below. Else the algorithm it helps my channel continue to grow and it pushes my content out in front of more and more people. With that being said, I just want to say I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love those who love me. And I'm gonna catch y'all bike at the next video.